Happy Reset Wednesday. Y'all, this is Pastor KZ with the All About Favor channel. Thank you for watching today. All this week, we've been talking about self-love. Y'all, can I frame here what you think? Scale of one to five in the comment section. At the end of the video, comment, thumbs up, like the video, and share the video with other people. All this week, we've been talking about self-love. Let's get right into it. But before we do, Y'all, I met a couple of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and they told me that they're going to have one Sunday where they go back to their cream circle, their orange, and look what I scored. I scored me a Tampa Bay Buccaneer t-shirt, the new one that they're going to be having the orange. So thank you, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I said I wouldn't call nobody's name because somebody will get in their feelings. I'll be back over there though. I'll be back to see y'all. Y'all. Let's get started. Today's topic, some people just aren't worth your time. It's getting messy. I told y'all that. It's very easy to know when you're wasting your time, but sometimes you make excuses or you overlook things so you don't have to deal with the situation head on. Mm-hmm. If a person's treatment of you is making you feel some type of way or making you feel bad, it's essential that you discard it and get rid of them immediately. You know what? Being in a toxic relationship is not healthy for either one of you. Y'all, get rid of that toxicity. Life is too short. Stop wasting your time there. You deserve better. Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Goes back to Monday. If you don't start loving on yourself and taking care of yourself and exercising and exhibiting self-love, you're going to be putting up with a toxic person. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to say this. Certain people can be good people, but they can be toxic people. Has you, you understand what I'm saying? I think I said this a few weeks ago. Just because a person is a nice person and they got a good heart, their energy can be toxic for you. Mm -hmm. You know what? Sometimes toxic people cause unnecessary stress and drama. Ask yourself, is this really worth my time? Do I really need to put energy here? Now, that's what self-love does, y'all, for you. You begin to realize that some situations, some people, just, you don't need to waste your time there. You've got to understand something. You are the only person who can determine if you're wasting your time. You don't wake up 10 years down the road in a relationship, 20 years down the road, and like, man, where did the time go? I just wasted all my energy here. No reason. You know what? Don't get in a situation and just stay stuck there. You got to learn how to cut ties. And you know what? I did a video a while back when I was talking about being stuck somewhere. And you got to also remember, know when it's time to let go and move forward with your life. And sometimes moving forward with your life means some people got to be left behind. Take back your life on this Reset Wednesday. It's time for you to realize that you're not going to waste any more time there. It's time for you to move forward with some positive things and stop trying to force somebody to see your worth. If they don't see your worth, move forward. You know what? They don't see your value. Stop trying to make somebody love you when you don't love yourself enough to say you deserve better. You know what? It's their loss. If they want to go, let them go. As Bishop Jakes always say, when people want to walk, let them walk. You know what? Also, when a person is not putting forth the effort that you are, or making an attempt to salvage whatever this jacked up relationship is you may be into, move it, move it along. Move it along. Say deuces and let it go. I'm sorry to say this, but some people are not worth your time. You've got to listen to your gut. God has been showing you over and over and over again, this is not who I have for you. This position on your job is not the place I have for you. I got something better for you, but you're spending too much time staying stuck. Did I just preach a word there? Dr. Maya Angelou always says, and, and a lot of people misquote this. She says these, these words. When people show you who they are, 
believe them the first time, not the second time, not the third time. She says, believe them the first time. Usually when a person show you who they are, that's who they are for real, for real. They may say, oh no, I just made a blunder. I made a mistake. No, boo, that's who you are. Y'all, I got some emails. Let me talk to you about one in particular. I got one from a young lady. She says, Pastor KZ, all my life I've had low self-esteem. Now I'm 46 years old and I still don't understand why I cannot sustain a good relationship. I've never been married, but I have six kids. Wait, let me read that again. Never been married, 46 years old, got six children. Got it. She also goes on to say, every man I choose, I find out later he's already either married or in a relationship. Let me pause this here, sis. Let me stop here, sis. You don't know this information before you get hung, tied up with these guys. You don't take time to ask, are you married? Are you in a relationship? Now, granted, some people lie. Yeah, I'm going to say it, men. Y'all do lie. And some women, you know he's married or you know he's with somebody else. But for some reason, you think he's going to be different and leave her for you. Yeah, I turned that real quick. The young lady also goes on to say, yes, I have six children and only two of them have the same father. Hmm. So you got five different fathers and she says in here all it's always some drama always some chaos when one comes to pick up their child it's always a mess pastor kz do you think i will ever find someone to love me let me answer this i've answered this young lady but i'm gonna answer it on air she says a lot of stuff in her emails but you know what and i told her this personally you don't love yourself. I'm wondering if you even like yourself. Your self-esteem is so low that <clears throat> you are willing to accept this type of treatment. And you deserve better. You are worth more. Now, let me share something very vital that she says here. She says, all my mother did was put me down. And I have always felt like my mother hated me because of my dad left her when she... At when I was two years old, my dad left her. And I feel like she takes that out on me. And she never says anything good about me. Even my grandmother on my mother's side, none of them seem to like me. They don't treat me right. And they always have to bring up stuff about my daddy. Okay, see right here. And I've indicated to her to get start journaling and to get, get into therapy. Because see, this is what's going on. This non-love that she had for herself stems from childhood. No one has ever been there when she was a little girl to pour love into her and to teach her that it's okay to love yourself. It's okay to say you're beautiful. It's okay to feel gorgeous. You know, I heard Mary J. Blige say no one ever told her she was beautiful. So she now, at 50-some years old, got to say Go, good morning, gorgeous, good morning, beautiful, and all of these affirmations she's saying over herself in her 50s that she didn't get when she was a child. That was why she sustained all of those bad, abusive relationships and, and, and substance abuse. And it sounds like this young lady at age 46, she never got the love, the support, the nurturing, and the validation that she needed. So now she has got to start this journey of self-love. Y'all understand what I'm saying? You got the love on yourself. Thank you so much for writing this email. I am in contact with this young lady because she really wants to, to walk in wellness and, and walk into some, some emotional healing where she's been scarred. So I'm saying this to all of you. Some of this stuff starts when you're a child. And, and I'm sorry, sometime the parents, the family structure and the dynamics, it was not good. You know, some of us, one of the hardest things to say is say something negative about your mom and your daddy. But the truth hurts. But the truth, it is what it is. And because she always felt this way from her mother and her m maternal side of the family, she grew up not loving herself enough to feel like she was worth a better relationship. So to you all today, I want you to understand 
Some people, some situations, this is not worth your time. You deserve better. Get yourself balanced. Find some focus. Get focused so that you will be able to sit down and break down situations that occurred in your life during childhood where there's a, a break, there's a connection uh, that's missing, and that has affected your adult life. Take a moment and recalibrate and think about those things and write those things down in your journal. Y'all, self-care is the best care. Walk in favor no matter what. It's going to be okay. This lady is not too old for things to get better. Her situation going to turn around. Once she starts, she's already identified. The first step is being honest. And that's what she has done. Thank y'all for watching. See you back tomorrow. Have a wonderful Wednesday.